Hello, Admiral Seabass here for German Turn 4 in Global 40 Axis and Allies. Here's my purchases. Racked my brain for a long time about this one. Uh, but settled on five guys, five artillery, two normal tanks, and one heavy tank. And uh, the reason I did that is because I decided I just couldn't, I couldn't make the math work. It was too risky to hit London this turn. So uh, I'm on a strategic bomb, the factory again. Hope I don't lose a bomber and hope I can hit the factory so that it's really expensive for them to buy it down enough to put more guys in. And then I'm going to bring non-combat move 10 units into Scotland this turn and then bring those 10 again next turn for a much higher odds sea lion on London and U.S. won't be able to get there before I do if they decide to come this way. Um, instead of going into the med. Uh, and then those three tanks are for the Soviet front, which I... Uh, this may be risky for the Soviet front. Um, this Two or three turns from now, this could cost me on the Soviet front. Um, but uh, I just figured I had to go for it. I want, and really wanted to see what would happen here if I concentrate on sea line. So um, I made all my combat moves. And... Uh, I'll be back in a minute and we'll start resolving these combats. Okay, first we're gonna do the strategic bombing raid of London on that factory here, which already has five damage. And, uh, ooh, sorry about that. And uh, I've got two strategic German strategic bombers that came from Western Germany. And uh, there's no fighters in London, so there's no escorts either. So here's the anti-aircraft for the London factory. Ha! Guys, can you believe that? I mean, could the Allies get any luckier right now with their dice in this game? Wow. Okay, well, I guess that's payback for the light cruiser uh, in uh, the last UK turn, isn't it? I mean, that's snake eyes, everyone. That's rolling a one two ones on a six-sided dice. So these are both lost. Okay, so and uh, this tactical move, I still can't believe that. This tactical moved into 110 and uh, which means these two transports are automatically eliminated. And I'll remove that target marker. And, uh, wow. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. That's five German guys and a tactical against a Soviet tank. So, let's see if uh, Germans uh, roll as well on these black dice as the uh, anti-aircraft in London did. <laughs> nope. So, I mean, statistically, you would think at least one there. Everyone. So the dicing of the axis continues. Here's the Soviet tank. Nope. Now here's the Germans again. Got their hit. I want you guys to look at that. I just rolled 10 dice for the axis. 10 black dice for the axis. No hits. And in London, I rolled 2 for anti-aircraft. 2 hits. So here's the German or the Soviet tank back. And that's a hit. So he's gone. We lose one guy, and that becomes German. So let me put German roundel on it. There, and then Germans go one, two, three. Soviets go one, two, three. Okay, now I'm gonna set this battle up on the battle board and then I'll be back. Okay, this was a chance for the Germans to take out a decent stack of Russian infantry, only two spaces from Moscow and one space from Leningrad. So we've got two German infantry, three tanks and three tacticals, which get upscaled because they're paired with the tanks. So we're obviously six hits would be wonderful. We're really looking to get through this without losing any of our tanks. So let's see what we do. Oh, let's do that again. Four hits. So one, two, three, four. Okay. Um, 
And again on the dice here, uh, I guess between you would you would figure if you're rolling three threes and three fours, you'd get about three hits, and that's a little better than average uh, on the black dice. So let's see what the Russians can do. They're going to get six. And you would think they would get two hits on average, just by the law of averages. And they got one. Okay. So, now we're going to do one, three black, three blues, and three reds for the Germans in round two. Just looking for two hits. And we got it. Okay. And now, so the Soviets have been eliminated. They've got two. The Germans are really hoping they only get one hit or less. They got it. So the infantry has gone. And we've got three tanks here in Belarus. Move the target marker. Had to buy more German roundels last week from historical board gaming. And then put these guys back here. And we'll fly them back on non-combat. Okay, so... Uh, probably did about what I expected, maybe a little bit better in my Russian attacks. And uh, now Russia's got to decide. Uh, we want to go down here with these tanks and planes. Or do we want to go in here? So I feel like the Germans have um, have uh, have done something here to flip the script a little bit. Uh, but this was a disaster over here with the Snake Eyes uh, AA roll on the bombers. I mean, honestly, I was looking to do 10 more damage to that complex if both my bombers survived, which would have put it at 15, which would have meant to build five more infantry, they would have had to spend 10 uh, to fix that. So that was really, really not good. So let me think about my non-combats here, and then I'll do them. Okay, I'm feeling good enough about my position in Russia that Sea Lion's still on for G5. So um, here's what we're going to do. Um, these are all going to move up to here. And... Um, I don't know, do I want to do that? That might be tempting for the Russians to use their air and the forces in uh, Leningrad to come in. So I might want to put these in here instead. And then this will just serve as a blocker, basically. Um, I think I'll put... I think I'll move this up here. Um, we will move these two guys, one, two, into Bessarabia. And I think we'll land this guy here also. And then I think I'll land these three guys back here in East Poland. Okay, and I'll move this guy one, two to Slovakia, Hungary. And then this guy's going to move up here to be an eventual blocker if the U.S. comes down here. Because um, the U.S. can get to here and take Gibraltar, but then this would be blocking them from any pursuit of Rome or Italy. So I will do that. And then these are the biggies. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, so this guy's going to go here, pick these two guys up, bring them into Scotland, move back. These four guys are going to go one 
pick up these eight units too and land them back in Scotland as well. And I'll clean all this up and rechip all this later. And then uh Yeah, this guy, I'm going to move off convoy duty here and come over here. So one, two, with the light, cruise, the light cruiser, the normal cruiser is going to move in there, and my battleship is going to move back here to get repaired next turn. Uh, this guy is going to go back in here. Um, these three guys will come up here. And these three guys will come up here as well, right there. Okay. And i um, going to leave those guys in Finland. not going to move those guys. Okay, I think that's it. So unit placement will be pretty simple. Two normal tanks in Romania. One heavy tank in, uh, yeah, we got to put them here. And five infant artillery and five infantry in Western Germany. Now, next turn, all the five transports can go one, pick up, two, drop off, plus all these guys for the London attack. And even since I lost two bombers, um, you know, I could be, I, I, I don't know. It just depends on what UK does. Um, they can build at least five infantry. Uh, and if they buy down five damage, it could theoretically do 10 infantry. So uh, we'll just have to see what they choose to do. Okay, let me look at the income and I'll be back. Okay, Germany collects 55, 20, 40, 55, uh, 50 for their normal income. So uh, if they're up here on the Pacific map, that means they've already got 40 and then they got another 10. And then they get five bonus income uh, for controlling Norway and Finland, I think. What is it? Germany controls both Denmark and Norway, while Sweden is neither pro-allies nor allies controlled. So that's where the five comes in. So that's German turn four. Um, didn't, uh, wow, the strategic bombing raid just, uh, can't ever prepare for that. Um, and, uh, you know, um, just one of those things that happens. And uh, we'll see what happens now on UK four and and uh, especially American turn four. Where do they come? And then G five will be really interesting. Uh, felt like though that Germany did make some progress on the Eastern Front in the Soviet Union this turn, and um, although they don't have a lot backing that up yet. Uh, so, all right, that's uh, German turn four G four global forty Axis and Allies. This is Admiral Seabass signing off.